I am Maria Garcia de Florin. In San Lorenzo di Fossano in Italy, 1884, Santiago Alberione was born. He was the sixth child of a Catholic peasant family. On December 31st, 1899, Santiago spent four hours praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament and said that there he saw a particular light and felt that his purpose in life was to do something for God and the people in the new century that was about to come using the technology of the time. At the age of 16, he entered the Alba Seminary and was ordained as a priest at the age of 23. He was vice parish priest, professor and spiritual director at the seminary, but the Lord guided him to a new mission, to live and give Jesus Christ the way, truth and life to the whole world. Preach the gospel to all peoples with the spirit of the Apostle St. Paul, using the fastest and most effective means that progress offers for human communications. Through the reading and meditation of the Gospel and the Eucharist, he cultivated an intense spiritual life centered on Jesus, teacher and shepherd, way, truth and life, imitating the Apostle St. Paul in the light of Mary, mother, teacher and queen of the Apostles. He spent hours in contact with God through prayer, and it was from there that he got the light and strength for the initiatives he had to undertake always confirmed by his spiritual director and ecclesiastical superiors. Father Santiago Alberioni was concerned to see that there are many people in the world who do not know Christ or do not know him sufficiently. He ardently wanted people to discover Christ. His executive and assertive style led him to offer the world and the church unthinkable foundations, colossal works, and successful industries that are and have been the admiration of businessmen, politicians, and pontiffs. Pope Paul VI himself, since he was Archbishop of Milan, visited the Pauline printing presses, blessed the new machines, and sought to learn about the mega-projects. Father Alberioni insisting on making charity of the truth, aware that the truth is not enough to tell. It must be protected with arguments, with evidence, made to reach the public intact and understandable, because this is their right. Giving the truth across also means making it understood. He gave his first book to the Virgin Mary because he talked about her. It was under the mantle of the Virgin Mary where the great apostolate focused on the printed media was born. To carry out his work, his foundations began in 1914. He founded five congregations, one male and four female, in addition to four institutes of consecrated secular life and the association of Pauline cooperators, all of them included in what is known the Pauline family. At the invitation of Pope John XXIII, he participated in the Second Vatican Council in order to listen and pray. When the first conciliar document was made public, the Intermirifica decree dedicated to social communications, Father Alberioni assured his disciples that with this document he saw God's confirmation of everything he was doing. He died on November 26, 1971, having had as his goal his first commitment for himself and his spiritual children, full configuration with Christ, to welcome the whole Christ, way, truth, and life with the whole person, mind, will, heart, and physical strength, so to be able to transmit it, because he knew that with God we always win.